Time to welcome in guest number two on the Deseret First Credit Union hotline. She is a star, and I mean that in every sense of the word, for BYU softball, a big part of why the Cougars have won nine straight. Riley Jensen back with us. Riley, great to have you back on the show. How are you? Good. How are you? Thanks for having me. You bet. 200 runs scored in your career. That's a lot of running around the bases. Just out of curiosity, have you ever missed touching home plate ever? I think I've been close a couple times, but that's a lot of runs. All right. 200 and you're still going. Uh, I mean, obviously, you're, these are career milestones that you want to get into. Is somebody calling you right now? Who's calling you? Someone's, right? yeah. someone's calling you because you're on the show and you they're watching. It. You can answer it if you want. <laughs> no, 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 it's okay. Hey, what's what's the next career milestone that you have uh, on the agenda? Um, honestly, just trying to make it past the regional. We're just trying to win games. I mean, if if I score runs, that obviously helps, but. I, we're just trying to win games at this point. And so far, so good. You guys won nine in a row. Kind of turn this thing around. What's been the key to uh, winning that many uh, in, in this streak? Yeah, we've definitely lost a lot of heartbreakers early. And it was really tough, you know? Like, I hate losing more than anything. But just sticking together and just staying on track with our goals and with what we want to accomplish. And finally, things are starting to come together. And I love it. Yeah, I was just mentioning to Jerem yesterday that this softball team's finding new and creative ways to win. Uh, you're outscoring teams and, you know, sometimes shootouts. Uh, you won a game on Saturday by a final of one to nothing. What has this team learned about closing out games that you weren't doing so in, in February and March? Um, I think early in the season where we were just kind of content with, you know, scoring early and just kind of, coasting but we that's one of our goals is to not coast and to finish games and that has paid off for us but it's it's tough it's tough to not get content when you're scoring runs and doing all the things you need to do early in the game but finishing games has been a big key for us you guys are super fun to watch and uh, those that haven't watched BYU softball you got to check out this team especially the outfield it's really fun with you in left and Violet Zavodnik uh, outstanding <laughs> freshman in center and Hannah Joe Peterson feels like you guys are gonna have a triple a homer a stolen base throwing someone out at home what's it like to play with that group in the outfield oh I love those two to death we have so much fun you know there's just there's no pressure we just have fun out there we're dancing we're singing I just love it we're just such a fun group that has just stuck together. And I mean, it's also a plus that we hit one, two, three in the lineup. So it just helps us stick together and kind of just be like the, the engine of our team. You guys have a nickname or anything? Do we need to come up with that? No, we don't have one yet. Okay. We'll work on it. Yep. Yep. We're on it. All right. We're on it. Riley Jensen with us on BYU sports nation. When you uh, try and pinpoint the strength of this team, maybe it is the outfield, maybe it's something grander, but what, what would you say is the strength of the team overall? Oh, that's a hard one. I wouldn't say we have one specific strength. You know, some games our pitching is just keeping us in the game. Some games our offense just exposed. Sometimes our defense just keeps us in the games. It just kind of depends on the day. That's, that's probably the biggest strength is we're strong all around. So maybe balance then? Yeah. Okay, let's talk about the home run chain. Yep. Uh, who came up with it? What you know? What was the motivation behind it? Because that's super fun. Um, Martha, our third baseman, it's kind of just sat in her locker for a while, and then Wait, she, she just started, had a chain you know, sitting in her locker, and it started becoming a trend. And then last weekend, I hit a home run, and they were chanting, "Give her the chain! Give her the chain!" <laughs> and it was just super cool. Being able to wear it, it's just awesome. Wait, so Martha's just rocking a chain in her locker, and then you guys are like, bring it up for the team. Well, I think she brought it for, like, that reason, but it kind of came out a couple times in our inner squad scrimmages in the fall when we couldn't, like, play against other teams. So, and it just came out at home games. Like, we didn't really have it on the road until this last weekend. I love it because I asked oh. Coach Eakin about it. I was like, hey, who started the home run chain? He's like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he doesn't pay attention to that stuff. Martha Epinesa, thank you for giving us the goodness That's of the home run awesome. chain. Uh, how much does playing just what is really shaped out to be a ridiculously hard February and March schedule 
help you at this point of the season? Um, it just makes us better. You know, like I said, we've lost a lot of tough games, but we, it just showed us that we can play with anybody and to be able to just get to play at home and not like have a let up on our schedule, but not, I don't want to say easier games because we've made a lot of games, really hard games, <laughs> but just to be able to just be at home and just believe in ourselves and build that chemistry from those tough games really helps a lot. Yeah, for sure. Like uh, beginning of the season, you have more weight on the bar, right? And then you have a little less perhaps, uh, but you still have goals for certain reps and, and want to win and score runs. So it, it, it makes sense. Yesterday I talked to uh, Gordon Eakin for getting ready for the broadcast. And he said that uh, you beat him in a little horse at the hotel over the weekend. Tell us about that interaction. <laughs> Yeah, he, um, Coach Eakin can shoot. It's, I, I was not expecting it, but <laughs> we stayed at this cool hotel with like a full size basketball court, and basketball is my second sport. So I just had to bring out a little competitive nature to him. Okay, was it close? Like, what, what, what letter did uh, he get to? Yeah, we, uh, it was really close. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so we got to S maybe or something? Yeah, he got me on the little mid-rangers, but I got him on the three-pointers. Okay. Yeah, that's this generation, right? The Steph Curry generation. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now, And I also heard that pre-pandemic, you know, now eligibility is probably tough. There was some potential interest at looking at you on the women's basketball team, right? For a minute, yeah. Ooh, that, that could have been fun. A little Kate, Caitlin Aldridge part two. Okay, where does that conversation stand now? Is that completely off the do you table? Have, do you have eligibility? Uh, I'm not even sure, but I'm graduating. So <laughs> She's out of here. I'm done. Which, which, by the way, congratulations. That's next week, right? Yeah, finally. Okay, you have two finals. You told us during the break. Um, what, what classes are those in? Oh, putting me on the spot. Uh, if you can't remember the name of the class, you don't deserve the best. <laughs> I, think, I think I'm in like two human development classes, so I think they're both for that one. Okay. Gotcha. Last semester, two classes. Well done, by the way. That's how you... That's how you got to do it. Yeah. So what's next? Uh, are you going to try and uh, play softball after college? Are you going to take the Libby Sug route? Or wh what do you think's next in your future as an athlete? That's a very good question that I don't know the answer to. I'm just trying to finish strong with softball right now and just try to get us past that over the hump of the regional. So we're just taking it baby steps right now. Hey, well, when you lead the team in hits and runs, and doubles and home runs, batting average, I'd say that 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 you're doing a pretty good job leading. Okay, and we got to finish with this, Riley. The Idaho girl versus Idaho State tonight. Um, IF versus Pocatello. Is there a rivalry between the two cities we need to know about? Um, I wouldn't say rivalry between the two cities, but I almost went there, so a victory tonight would be extra sweet. Okay, okay. You almost went to Idaho State and missed out I on did. the opportunity to be on BYU Sports Nation. <laughs> I know. I know Sports what? Nation is a big deal, too. <laughs> <laughs> don't sleep on Idaho don't, State. Don't sleep on them. No. Riley, congratulations on everything you've accomplished thus far. We're excited to see where this team goes. And uh, good luck getting uh, what we hope is win number 10 in a row tonight. Thank you, guys. You got it. Riley Jensen on the Deseret First Credit Union Hotline. Deseret First, you know why we show how.